And then breaking news, the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department identifies the woman found murdered in the town of Somers Cemetery. They need your help in finding the killer. Keller Russell is covering the story. She's live with this breaking news update in Kenosha County. Keller. Charles and Kara, the Kenosha County Sheriff briefed us late this afternoon with the latest on their investigation. They have identified that woman as 26-year-old Lisa Mezrush, who was found dead in a cemetery Sunday morning, less than a mile from her home. An on-duty police officer found Lisa Mezrush's body lying in the Benet Zedek Cemetery in the town of Summers around 10 Sunday morning. Her father last seen Lisa leaving their home with friends around 4.30 Saturday. When she still hadn't come home this morning, Lisa's father called police. He feared the worst after hearing of a woman found dead. The Kenosha County Sheriff says they believe the death was targeted. The citizens of Kenosha, Summers, Kenosha County shouldn't be any more concerned than they were on any average day that uh, there's someone out there on the loose looking to uh, harm somebody else. It's so hard. It really is. Just I've cried my eyes out earlier today. I don't have any more tears left right now. It's been seven hours, eight hours since I found out. Now, the sheriff says Lisa died from blunt force trauma to the head and strangulation. They are talking to several people of interest, but are still trying to piece together a timeline. Again, take a look at Lisa. If you think you may have seen her anytime after 4.30 on Saturday, you are asked to call the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department. Live in Kenosha, Keller Russell, today's TMJ4. And again, Keller, they do not think this was a random attack. Carol, they do not think it was random. Uh, the sheriff didn't want to get into a lot of details. Obviously, they are still trying to piece everything together, but they do believe that uh, this person who is responsible is somebody that Lisa knew. Okay, hopefully they get to the bottom of it. Keller Russell, thank you very much.